Racking up your points is one thing and I have a whole video on how do we rack up points for travel, but booking them is another. So over the past year or so, you may have seen that it is absolutely difficult to get the points redeemed at a good rate. So for instance, you would get flights that are costing you 300,000 points to fly somewhere on business or even on economy, you're finding like 90,000 points, etc. and up. And at that point, you're just thinking to yourself, is it even worthwhile to collect these points if I am redeeming them at such a high rate? So that has also been my problem. But today I'm going to be sharing with you a tool that I've been using in order to help me find the best flights at the best time with the least amount of points. So with that said, we are going to get started. And by the way, this video is by no means sponsored by anybody. This is just me genuinely sharing a tool that I found to be useful since I've also had the same struggle as you as well. And for anyone who is watching this and is from, from Canada, this tool actually has added Air Canada to the list. So meaning you can also book with Aeroplan, which is incredible because a lot of these tools out there are based in the US and don't have Aeroplan as one of the partners listed. So if anyone doesn't know me, I'm Grace. I basically chat on this channel to talk about credit cards and how do we get more travel and value out of our points. So with that said though, if you, this is something you're interested in, please do give me a quick subscribe down below and we are going to get started. All right, so it is time to pop open Seats.Aero. So this is a platform that I recently found. I used to use something called Kyle Tool, which was completely free, and that tool has now been deprecated. So now I am resulting to Seats.Aero. So as someone with a bunch of points these days, finding a deal is actually really hard. I used to look up the site and Air Canada just to find deals every single day, and it was just taking so much of my time that I just decided to pay. Because I feel like $9.99 99 a month, it's worth it, okay? It's worth me and my stress of going to Air Canada every single day to take a look and all. Because this site here, it sees that Aero can do alerts as well. So thank God. And as you know, if you are looking to book business flights and stuff like that, it is super, super, super limited. So I feel like having these alerts are really worth it. So we are going to now take a look into this tool and try to book something. And it's time to book with me. Trying to find a flight from Japan back to Vancouver. It has been extremely, extremely, extremely difficult. So I'm going to be trying to find a flight at this very moment just to see if I can get something. Um, that said though, just a quick walkthrough of this site here. Um, there is a free version and a paid version. The free version, the downside of it is that it can only um, search up to 60 days ahead. So if you are doing like last minute bookings, absolutely great. But if you are looking to do, you know, future planning and things like that, then I think the paid version is actually much better. And of course you don't have to subscribe for the entire year. So we are going to try to find something. All right. So we're going to search for something. So in the free version, you can only select, um, the departure dates is set. And by default, you can only add plus or minus seven days. And that's pretty much it. But with the pro features, you are really here to unlock a lot more. So you can find direct flights, you can find it in fees, a um, number of seats is unlocked as well. And, um, any filters for cabins, if you're specifically looking for like premium economy or business, etc., you can do that filter as well. So, because the flight has been extremely difficult, I am going to just try to find my best. Okay. So let's just try to find something. So let's do plus or minus seven days, um, because I am at this point, not picky at all. So one thing, so right now we're going to hit search and you can see here is that it is incredibly high. Like look at these business class flights. They are like in the 200s range, if I go to page two, again, it, we are in the 200 ranges as well. So there you know is that, okay, these are made, this is the time that is really, really difficult to find good flights. But pro tip is that you do see that they do have Aeroplan, which is incredible, I find. So 
Next thing is that, you know, if you can't find what you're looking for, you can of course adjust the date if you'd like. So one thing that you could filter on is the program. So depending on, you know, what loyalty program you have, whether it's Air Canada, United, Virgin, etc., you can do a filter on that because to me, I only care about Air Canada Aeroplanes because those are where my points are at. So I find that this is super, super, super valuable. So when you hit the I button, you can then book directly and it'll open up the link where you can see how much if the reality reflects the search okay so here you can see that i am looking for what, what was the result the result was 35k so again a 35k flight did come up here so let's say if we were to do a direct flight okay let's do a direct flight let's do a search as you can see right now there is really nothing available um, at this time for me to book that is direct flight on points okay so there's no nothing available so that said though like all of this really varies you do have to try different combinations but what i would recommend doing is to create an alert so create an alert you can do it for specific routes and dates or specific departures or arrival airports um, or upgrade alert but i am not with united so i can't take advantage of that but for specific ones so you can do email or sms whichever you want mileage program i am with star alliance so departing airport i am going with haneda arriving airport i'm based in vancouver and then the date range as well so I can set the date range that I'm looking for, what cabin class I would like to select, and then I create the alert. So pretty simple to use, and you can create as many of these as you can on the pro plan. And again, this video is not by at all sponsored. It's just that I am so tired of looking up flights every single day and trying to, you know, figure out, oh my gosh, does this combination work? Does this combination work? And this and that, like, it is just so much work and I'd rather just get a notification directly into my mailbox and call it a day and just book, right? So I feel like this is really, really such a great tool I do think it is worth the $10 a month if you are really trying to, if you do have a flight in, plan, in mind and that you are looking to book. So another way we could do it is by searching for another airport that I could leave from. Um, that might open up more possibilities for me. Again, it has really struggling here. It is really struggling to find direct flights for me at this moment. Um, any cabin as well so you we can see that it is quite limited in terms of aeroplan because that's the only one that i could redeem on so again you can see one world is available um let me see if i can find osaka as another one so osaka is another one that i could search for and see if i've got anything so oh looks like we've got something direct so this is an option for me as well so again i feel like this tool is pretty good you do have to play around with it but it does save you a lot more time than just going through air canada or wherever airline you're flying with and just booking it and just looking it up day by day to see what pops up so this is basically my recommendation keeping this video super short and sweet um hopefully this helps you out in maximizing the points all right and thank you so much for watching today's video if you found this video to be helpful please do give me a quick subscribe down below it does really help my little small channel get seen by others as well and if you have any comments or questions drop them into the comments down below i do check every single comment there is and i try my very best to find the answers for you as well with that said though thank you so much for watching again and we will see you all in the next one bye